Hi, my name is Laura Cohen-Ashman. I'm the writer-director of Sour Hall, an original audio series for Audible. And this episode is what it means to be in Sour Hall. And I'm gonna be talking to Pearl Mackey and Lucy Fallon, the two main actors in Sour Hall. I'm Lucy Fallon and I play the character of George. I'm Pearl Mackey and I play the character of Ash. I got an email from uh, my agent asking if I would like to take part and like I think it was they sent like the first episode maybe and so I read that and I was like yeah I really want to I really want to be involved and I'd never done anything like this before either so um I was extra keen I was really into it sort of you know read the first couple of pages and I was like this is cool and then you know carried on and read the rest of the episode and I was like yeah I think this is really really interesting I just really liked one of the one of the lines really early on. Ash is talking to the um, the taxi driver, and she's like something about it's the like line of like him being what's what's more offensive being like black or being a lesbian. I was like, yeah, I like this. I think I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I've done an audio book, um, but that was just in a studio. And obviously, that's completely different. It was more like we were actually acting, like actually doing it. So the thing with audio is it's so fast because obviously there's no visual elements. You're not setting mm -hmm. up, there's no cameras, there's mm. no presets or anything. And it's and you guys have like the iPads there, so you don't have to learn everything off, off yeah. the top of your head. Whilst we obviously had the similarities of being outside, you know, in the elements and sort of having to be like, oh, okay, it's actually raining, let's move this scene around and sort of chop and change like you would, much like you would when you're on location mm -hmm. on a film shoot. Um, actually, it was just a lot quicker and it wasn't like, it wasn't like you had to sort of wait for the rain to finish it's and then not, actually yeah. you had to change your costume seven times and then, do you know what I mean, move lots of stuff yeah. around and wait for the camera to set up and all of that kind of thing. So it was yeah. kind of like, oh, we can just do it now, let's go which is yeah. actually quite cool. And obviously, you know, with being able to read it as well, you could sort of, it's Do much it easier to kind of, yeah, exactly. Much easier to sort of put yourself just like directly into the scene again and then be like, oh, what was it we did before? Okay, we did that. So I think yeah. it's sort of easier to like jump in, um, in, in that way. Also found it really interesting how, um, we did all, all the sound effects, like they weren't kind of like added on later. We actually did the sounds ourselves. I think everyone, all the other actors and, and myself and the crew as well were just like so grateful to be out of the house. Oh so, well. yeah. <laughs> yeah. As an actor, it's those kind of storylines that are sort of like real issues. It's quite like daunting, I think, so you want to like do it justice. You don't want to like, you know, get it wrong or whatever. But um, it's good to sort of really get your teeth into it. I think it is really important to to tell stories. Um, you know, life isn't always just super chill and happy and like, okay, let's sort of, you know, float along on this kind of happy, normal, boring level. I think it's much more interesting to sort of delve into people's issues and delve into their trauma. In a way of sort of, in a kind of way of like representing in a, like, do you know what yeah. I mean? It sort of show, you know, this, this kind of stuff does happen to people and it is awful, but it's also, you know, you can show um, as you, as you have Laura, like, you know, that the, that they have managed to come together and sort of get yeah. through it, which oh, yeah. is, is a, is a huge part of life as well. I think preparing for, for those scenes is, is always, is, is always quite interesting. Um, in, like especially with some of the stuff I mean you know the like opening of episode one it was really kind of once you sort of got there to the emotional place yeah it was kind of easier than having to recreate that loads and loads of times and it yeah. didn't mean that you were good like it's like you could really really scream and make it sound really quite harrowing and, and powerful hopefully um <laughs> without worrying that you're going to lose your voice and not be able to talk for the rest of the shoot I think as an actor you sort of do have quite a vivid imagination and I think that's kind of yeah why you like telling stories so I think it's you know just sort of imagining and also like you know Laura the way it's written is so like it's really visceral and it's really mm -hmm. you can really access their feelings and the characters sort of experiences through the writing so it kind of feels like it's all there already it didn't really feel like you're like oh okay I have to kind of really dig deep to find a way into this it was like there was yeah. already a way in I tweeted like, oh, recording my first audio series, blah, 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 and then like, and like tagged you guys and, and Lucy <laughs> tweeted it. And, <laughs> um, and then you had a friend who did uh, an, an article about it and the headline was um, basically like, 
Lucy Fallon's first role after Coronation Street as lesbian haunted by ghost. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's just just great. Just the whole experience really for me is just like completely different to anything that I've I've, I've ever done. And I've never done horror either. Like I, I, I've never done any horror before. And I've also avoided horror films since like, you know, I was scared of Hocus Pocus as a child. <laughs> um, so I'm like, like, I remember working with um, with someone who told me like, once you've like, once you've done a horror, like once you've worked on a horror, you know, be that sort of a horror podcast or be that a horror film, like you kind of really, you, you, you're sort of able to access them in a totally different way. And like, mm. I, you know, I really got into like how scary it was. Yeah. It, it sounds really scary and like really terrifying and being like, oh, okay, well that sounds much better if I'm like, you know, sort of like a bit nearer the microphone, but like oh, it's, it's screaming there and there's going to be wind. And I think, yeah, the whole, the whole experience was just really interesting of seeing how it is possible to create things like this. Yeah. An interracial lesbian love story um, that conquers trauma. An immersive horror that includes lesbians haunted by ghosts. (laughs) (laughs) Disclaimer, it's not a ghost. Also, no, it's an actual bogger, but like people, you know, if you don't know what that means, it's like a ghost. It's like a ghost. More powerful than a ghost. (laughs) Thanks so much for listening to another episode of What It Means To Be. Um, make sure to check out the other episodes and to listen to the episodes of Sour Hall.